of inspiration for the, the guys that were there in prison. I don't know what is. And, and that's why I still go back now, because I remember <coughs> where I'm coming from. Because you are a product of where you're, wherever you're going. You can't forget where you're coming from. I think it was Marcus Garvey that, that taught us that. With a, like a tree without root if you don't remember your past. And, and even when I went to the prison, the two prison this morning, um, it was just the same thing, and just remembering where you're coming from. So those of you that we saw me bounding up on Dragon's Den, you know, like, bossy, Levi Roots. Fearless. <laughs> Fearless Levi Roots and Dragon's Den. The story didn't start there. But the passion to be able for me to be do that actually came from that. The passion that allowed me to be of the audacity to pass the X Factor stage <laughs> <laughs> and ended up on Dragon's Den with a bloody guitar. <laughs> I don't suppose the dragons knew what was going to hit them. They probably did. They probably think, I'm going to rap this guy. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, and uh, let's take this little trick here now. Don't forget, you don't know that the company is not worth 50 million pounds, right? But put up your hands in the air if you think that when you saw me and Dragon's Day, would you have invested? Come on, be true. Yes. 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 Ah, nobody, nobody, nobody. <laughs> I wouldn't have invested in you. <laughs> I wouldn't. I remember my kids, you know, at the day when I was spotted by one of the producers of Dragon's Den, I was in the, in, in, in the Excel Center, you know, because I decided to go where there was anywhere there was any black people. And it was, it was all white people dealing with sauce and things, especially where there was anything with a shire at the end of the name. <laughs> so I ended up, I ended up at this uh, exhibition, and there I was, I had the guitar, and I was... Somebody put some music in the food for me. Give me some reggae songs. And we get reggae songs. It's so nice. I have to live it. Charlene, she saw the blue BBC card fall out 
um, on the floor. And she'd pick it up, and again, she was just like, yeah, it's the and all my kids is jumping up and down. And I said, what a rap is this dragon? <laughs> and of course, my kids just said to me, yes, dad, dragon, them good, but daddy, what are you doing about a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> That's with that damn guitar and that song. <laughs> But my kids were trying to protect me because they knew that, you know, I would leave my room from Coxman's song. I know those who have listened to Coxman's song in the past. <laughs> and they knew that, you know, if I wanted to take the sauce further, I should work on that. But don't go on TV and shame up this life. <laughs> <laughs> because we know what it's like when we go on those shows as black people. <laughs> and any show that you have to win something, we know how we very <laughs> true. I thought that they were setting me up to be the worst loser in Japanese. <laughs> but Peter the damn woman didn't realize that I was going to become the most famous person in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no.